members once again you may recall that on 21st of march 2024 his excellency the president of the republic of uganda amended the composition of cabinet appointing some new members among those newly appointed were nine members and one of them was Mr. Baram Barugahara. In order for Baram Barugahara to discharge his duties as ex official member of parliament, by virtue of Article 781D of the Constitution, he is required under Article 814 of the Constitution take and subscribe the oaths of allegiance and the oaths of member of parliament. Right Honorable Speaker, the said Baram Barugahara is in the presence of parliament, ready to take and subscribe the oaths. May I therefore request for your permission to invite him to access the chamber for the aforementioned purposes. Permission granted for Honorable Baram Bargahara to access uh, the Princess of Parliament, to access the chamber and take us. Yeah. Order, Honorable Colleagues, order. I, Bargahara Balamateni. I swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Constitution of Uganda and that I will preserve and protect and defend the Constitution. So help me God. I, Barugahara Balamateng, I swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will, pre that I will, give, faith, uh, that I will give faithful service to the Parliament and I and support and uphold the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established, so help me God. Thank you. Honorable Baram Barugahara, congratulations on catching the eye of the appointing authority and welcome to the Parliament of Uganda and the 11th Parliament uh, 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 to be specific. I know you've been following up most of the issues. I've been your good follower. But here we go by the Constitution and the rules of procedure. We will help you so much in executing your mandate. And we're looking forward, we look forward to sharing more with you uh, on the floor. Congratulations once again and wish you all the best. Right, Honorable 
Speaker and Honourable Members. Order, Honourable Colleagues, order. Order. On 19th March 2024, Order, Honourable Colleagues. The Court of Appeal in Election Petition Appeal Number 004 of 2022, Honourable Ogwari Polekap versus Ochoa David ordered that Mr. Ogwari Polekap vacates the seat of Member of Parliament for Agule County and declared Mr. Ochoa David winner for the seat of Member of Parliament for Agule County, Palisa District. On 2nd April 2024, the Electoral Commission under Gazette Volume CXVII, number 24, gazetted Mr. Ochoa David as the Member of Parliament for Agule County in Palisa District. Mr. Speaker, Sir, and Honorable Members. Honorable colleagues, can I have order in the House, please? The said member is available within the precincts. But the new members, we give them a minute, a minute. At, at least say something. Okay? Yes, the new member. And I will start with one of Barugahara Baram. Mm -hmm. One of the minister here, we have time limit. So, two minutes. Uh, thank you, Right Honourable Speaker, for this opportunity. Here before you is now a full minister. Ah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but <laughs> si, si, uh, sitting, sitting on a front bench, courtesy yeah. of General Seven Kaguta Yoweri, yeah. uh, approved by Parliament Appointments Committee, yeah. uh, recommended by Ugandans. <laughs> But before, before I became a member, before I became a member, a uh, small uh, brief about me. I'm the vice chairman of PLU, which is a civic organization, which is a non-partisan organization, which is a, a transparent organization, which is an organization that advocates for fairness in society. Uh, I thank Parliament for giving me this opportunity. I will work and I will serve my country my president, and I will respect the constitution of Uganda. When I was in the appointments committee, the speaker requested me to speak to his excellence to ensure that no supporters are released. Yeah. The president, in his own voice and video, he said, give me the list. I requested the national unity platform to avail the list. Hope the uh, uh, leader of opposition is here. I'm yet to get it. Yeah. And the... Yeah. And the... And uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, right, 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 speaker. Right, 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 speaker. <laughs> Point of order. Point of order. Uh, on, on, right, on, right, on, right, 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 No, on, honorable colleagues, please, 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 please. Order, order, on, on, honorable colleagues, the honorable Barugara Baram, I studied with whom I know, cannot fail to respond to anything. So let us feel as if we are protecting him. Huh? Yeah, so uh, let the leader of opposition bring his point of order, and, and we see. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I request that you protect me from excited colleagues. Right Honorable Speaker. Please, Honorable Colleagues. Please, Lop. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. Uh, firstly, I think we 
it's important that as parliament, we, we orient our new colleagues on uh, our modus operandi as parliament. Um, how we operate, point of order, and, and the like. But more importantly, right honorable speaker, the, right, the point of order that I'm standing up on, we discussed in this very parliament. Issues of missing persons, some who were disappeared, people who are in jail irregularly, some missing persons for whom the Prime Minister of Uganda acknowledged are in the hands of the state, like John Bosco Chibalama. And we tabled that list here in Parliament. We gave it to the Attorney General. Court is processing many of these matters, and we have asked that they be released on bail, because this is not prosecution, but persecution. Right, Honorable Speaker, is it in order for a new minister who seems to be a novice to come with excitement and claim that he has mandate to pursue a matter of people who are simply being persecuted as opposed to being is, is the honorable new minister on, honorable Senyonyi, you know the language we use in parliament. Okay? On, honorable Senyonyi, you know the language we use in this parliament. Even when you disagree with the person, language is like a novice. A member of a member of parliament is a member of parliament is a member of parliament. Okay? So honorable Senyonyi, do the need for you. You're a gentleman. There is a language we don't use here. This is the language we don't use. Right, Honorable Speaker, as a lawyer and as somebody who knows English, the word novice means somebody who is new to a profession. No. No. The Honorable Balam Barugahare is a new minister. So the word novice is not derogatory in any way except for people who we need to teach some English. You see, you, you, you see, on our colleagues, how we start with problems is how we behave. Okay? Look, you know, I know you'd be insulted if I called you novice. The Honorable Baram Bargara is a minister and a free fledged now ex official of this house who has been sworn in. Okay? So, Honorable, I'm a very patient man, and I know you're a gentleman. Okay? Please, let's use. Right, Honorable Speaker. Right, Honorable Speaker. Right, Honorable Speaker, you asked me to speak. Please protect Please. me from these excited No, you're protected, Honorable. I hope protected. I am. You see, in this parliament, we keep learning, and. Um, I am glad to even teach colleagues some English. When you Google the meaning of the word novice, for those that have smartphones and some data, definition number one, a person new in a job or situation. Balam Barugahari is new, the honorable, is new as a minister. So there's nothing wrong with calling him a novice as a minister. I thank you. Thank procedure, you. procedure, procedure. Thank you, Honorable uh, Clerk. I hereby direct you, sir, you expunge yeah. the submission of the Honorable Senior. Yeah. Honorable Byram, continue, please. Yeah. Continue. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Uh, right, Honorable Speaker. So, during the appointments committee, I was given a task as a fair person who believes in fairness. Uh, with knowledge of my background as a, a patriot to speak to the president who is appointing authority to stand surety for the young men who, who are detained and they have not yet gone on trial. So the president accepted to pardon most of them 
who are not who don't have cases of murder and he said security forces should uh, and, and the intelligence should expedite the investigation uh, t uh, going on so i would request my brother uh, honorable joro senyony to give right honorable joro senyony to give me the list i will do that for you joel and i will make sure the president uh, acts on that thank you then uh, thank you for the opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. The Honorable Dr. Kenneth Omona, do you have anything you want? The Right Honorable Speaker, and the honorable colleagues in the house. I'm glad once again to join you, right honorable speaker, and both sides of the house in the service of our country. It's been a long time since I was in this house when I left uh, after the ninth parliament, went and had some other tours of duty, and then finally back here in the house again today. I'm very happy to join you again once more, uh, right on the speaker. And I pray that all of us in this house, God will support and help us to remind us of our duties on both sides of the house to continue to serve and serve together for the good of our country. Thank you very much and God bless. Thank you, doctor, and welcome back. Honorable Sala Aguti. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. My name is Sarah Gruti, representing Dokolo District. I want to thank you for welcoming me in this house. Uh, the people of Dokolo have sent greetings to this house. I want to thank uh, our party, UPC, for standing with me. Uh, I want to thank our party president and other MPs that stood with me. And also, I want to thank my voters of Dokolo that they have put their trust in me. I'm going to represent them. Uh, secondly, uh, honorable uh, speaker, uh, the people of Dokolo, they are OK, but only that they have one problem. My people are dying in the lake. I want this house to help me. Yeah. The, fisher, the fishermen of Dokolo, the fishermen of Dokolo, they are dying in the lake. If uh, this house can help me and we talk about it more. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable. Honorable Ochoa David. Thank you, Right Honorable Speaker. I'm by the name Sochua David, representing the people of Agure. I'm an old broom, broom in the house. I was in the ninth parliament with Dr. Mona. I believe what I've observed here the doctrine of parliament and the quality of debates must be maintained. Right Honorable Speaker, I want to thank the people of Agule for supporting me. Not necessarily court. I was voted by the people of Agule. Fully voted as a strong NRM MP. And that's why I'm here. We are the lawmakers. I believe you are aware of the Constitution. The remedies of any outcome in an election, you have to go to court. I hope you have had the opportunity to read the Constitution. <laughs> right, That's Honorable a, Speaker. A, honorable David, for, for guidance. Because you might have forgotten a few issues. For example, when a speaker is speaking, you have to sit. And you talked about it. All right. <laughs> okay. Thank you, right, so, honorable speaker. Yeah. So, uh, number two, you don't access microphone. 
without permission of the speaker. But number three, you don't respond to all those who are not on record. Because now our answer is going to look bad. Someone will read and say, but whom was he responding to? Because we only record the one on the microphone, okay? So don't start responding to people who are trying to divert you. Remain focused on your speech. You can resume. Right, Honorable Speaker, thank you for that guidance. I will take it upon me to follow up on that. Colleagues, we are back here to work for the country. Thank you for accepting us and receiving us. You are welcome. Thank you. May God bless you. Thank you. Um, we have another colleague who joined the cabinet, but he has been our colleague. I don't know if he has, if he would want to say anything. A general body. Last night at the vigil of uh, General David Mohose's mom, General David Mohose told us that they've been calling him former CDF, former CDF. Now he believes with General Mbadi coming in, that is uh, passed over to him as former CDF. <laughs> so General Mbadi, if you have anything you want to say? You've always been our colleague. Now you have to come in suits. He's been coming in uniform. Thank you, right uh, honorable speaker, for giving me this uh, opportunity, first of all, to thank the president for appointing me uh, a minister. That's why you see I'm in this attire now. <laughs> secondly, secondly, I want to thank the members of parliament, especially the appointments committee, for approving uh, my appointment. Um, I look forward to working with the parliament to execute my duties of uh, promoting competitiveness in trade and uh, exports. Yeah. Once again, so help me God. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. Procedure. Procedure. Colleagues. Genombadi Gen has been uh, given a docket uh, where from the feedback I get from the members he's been one of the most popular members of the committee of trade. He has been on the committee for trade. And members used to tell me that he would leave behind his armored car and escorts and move with them in a bus despite him being a CDF. When he was a member, he was that humble that he could do that. So, Honorable, we hope you'll be interacting with your colleagues. Uh, you know they had questions they've been asking, and uh, sometimes with answers, sometimes without answers. We are sure you're one of those people who will help us uh, progress very well. Congratulations once again. Our colleagues in the VIP gallery this afternoon, we have Honorable Ebir Fred, former member of parliament for Kore County and current Secretary General of Uganda Post Congress. Randa the mayors in your presence, treat and consider all matters that shall come under their deliberation in so just and faithful a manner as to promote your honor and glory and to advance the good of those whose interest you've committed to their charge. Amen. Next item.
Mr. Speaker, sir, and honorable members, following the death of Honorable Ogwara Cecilia Barbara Atim, the woman representative of Dokoro District, which occurred on Thursday, 18th January 2024, the position of woman representative for Dokoro District fell vacant. In accordance with Article 81, Clause 2 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, the Clerk Parliament notified the Electoral Commission of the existence of a vacancy in Parliament. On 21st March 2024, a by-election was held and the Electoral Commission has, in writing, communicated the results to the clerk to parliament, indicating that Ms. Sarah Aguti was elected as the woman representative Dokoro District. The member elect, right honorable speaker and members, is available and is ready to take and subscribe to the also of allegiance and of a member of parliament. Mr. Speaker, sir, I now seek your indulgence to allow Ms. Sir to undertake the aforementioned oath. Permission are granted for Ms. Sarah Guti to access the chamber and take oath. I, Aguti Sara, swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Uganda and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. So help me God. I, Aguti Sara, swear in the name of the Almighty God that I'll give faithful service to this parliament and support and uphold the constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by the law established. So help me God. Honorable colleagues, let's welcome our member. Uh, Honorable Sarah Guti, welcome you to the 11th Parliament and Parliament of Uganda. 
Congratulations on being elected as woman member of parliament for Dokoro district. You know how our sister Imat Cecilia Gwar was performing. We expect you to raise the bar uh, to her level. We shall be here to support you in each and every way. And I want to hand you the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda and our own Bible in this parliament, which is our rules of procedure that you must read and you ensure that you understand in order to follow proceedings very well in the House. Congratulations once again. You can take your seat on this side. Right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, you may recall that on 21st of March 2024, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda amended the composition of Cabinet by appointing some new members. And among those newly appointed were nine members of parliament who were subsequently duly approved by the Parliamentary Appointments Committee. One of the newly appointed was Dr. Kenneth Omona. In order for Dr. Kenneth Omona to discharge his duties as ex-official member of parliament by virtue of article 781D order, of the constitution. Order. Dr. Mona is required under article 814 of the constitution to take and subscribe the oath of allegiance and the oath of member of parliament. Right honorable speaker, the said member is in the precincts of parliament, ready to take and subscribe the oath. May I therefore seek for your permission to invite him to access the chamber for the aforementioned purposes. Permission granted for Honorable Dr. Kenneth Omona to access the chamber and take oath. I, Dr. Mona Kenneth, swear in the name of the Almighty God that I will faithfully, I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Republic of Uganda and that I will preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. So help me God. I, Dr. Mona Kenneth, swear in the name of the Almighty God that I'll, I'll, I'll give faithful service to this parliament and support and uphold the constitution of the Republic of Uganda as by law established. So help me God. Dr. 
Kenneth Lomona. Welcome back to the Parliament of Uganda. Once a member of Parliament, always a member of Parliament. We, we are family. And uh, congratulations upon catching the eye of the appointing authority as the Minister of State for Northern Uganda. I know you might be having many copies of the Constitution, but we want to give you one more that help you and our rules of procedure to help you in executing your mandate. Congratulations once again, and we look forward to uh, sharing a lot with you on the field. Right, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Members, once again, you may recall that on 21st 